How you doing? I'm Mr. Tyler, and I started a YouTube channel called Your Dad Academy. I've been teaching science for 23 years, and now I'm becoming an e-learner and trying to use Canvas. So I wanted to find a way to incorporate game theory into my class. A lot of teachers are using Google Slides to create their own new games, but I found that I can just embed games that are already made and awesome and super addicting. This one's even called Addiction Addictive Games. So go find a Flash game and embed it. Unfortunately, Flash is going away and it's not gonna be able to be used in Google for much longer, but right now it's still good until December 2020, so why not use them and take advantage of these amazing games that are made in Flash that you just copy the embed code and put it right into your Canvas page. So what I'm figuring that I'm gonna do is I will use this as some kind of reward system for my students. Once, for example, I get 100% completion in a discussion, I will unlock a game for them and challenge them to beat my highest score. So like I said, I've been a science teacher 23 years. I started this channel, Your Dad Academy, to put up a lot of different science labs, but I'd love to get to 1,000 subscribers, so check it out. So this is how we're gonna do it. This was my welcome video. My administration asked me to put together an introduction page. I keep my page super simple, uh, just because I know a lot of students are using their phone as their main access device. And so I wanted to make sure that there weren't too many weird things on my page that would not load up on their phone correctly. So my page is super simplified. But what you do is you create a new page. So for example, in this video, I'm just calling it rewards page. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. You go find a website that has Flash games. This particular one allows me just to copy the embed code. So I go, I click copy embed code. You can either highlight it and hit control C for copy, or you can hit copy the embed code. So once you've copied the embed code, you go back to your page on Canvas, and you click the buttons for embedding, which is on the bottom right down here. And once you uh, have uh, unlocked the editing and you've clicked embed, you just hit control V and you paste the embed code that you copied onto your page. And when you hit save, you're gonna notice that it's a little bit squished and I don't like that. So what you do is you hit edit again and what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this special graphic. Um, I tried to remember what the actual size was but I found a special graphic and I'll put it up right here. So here's a special graphic I found for the sizing. I want extra large, so that means I wanna change the width and the height to be 864 and 486. So I go over here and I type in, and you might have to play around with it a little bit, but it's right in the embed code where you can change the width and the height. So go do that and see if you like the size that it creates within your Canvas page. So let me speed this up and I'll show you what happens. So instead of it all being smushed into one little tiny area, it's actually pulled open into a bigger screen that they can just play this game. It's not the best Tetris in the world. It's called Tetroid, but it seems to work. I hope you can figure out how to embed some cool games into your class, use it as a reward system. Please like and subscribe, check out the other videos, and keep science awesome.